Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our fun let's play of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. We are in the first main game. I don't know if it's the first main game or if there's going to be more of these main games, but at least one of the first major trial-like area. Uh, there's guaranteed, basically, two people are going to die, and we need to make sure that at least so dies because if so is the sacrifice uh if so doesn't die we all die so it's a pretty kind of nasty situation kyutaro has really really stirred up the pipe the pot quite a lot and because of that i'm sort of leaning towards voting for kyutaro over anyone else because he's definitely acting like the worst person you want in your team right now blaming everyone including jen The discussion is stuck in equilibrium, failing to come to an argument agreement. I need to swing the needles to either side, or this balance will never collapse. One explanation balance balance, yes. Both speakers will give statements at the same time. By affirming or denying one party's opinion, you can change their views. If all goes well, the balance will shift and you can advance the next dialogue. Note that there is no time limit, which is good, but there is a limit to number of selections you can make, which is bad. Okay, nobody's going to lend a hand if you're silent. All the dots. Do we affirm or deny? Um, I say we deny that. Because people are going to lend a hand even if you are silent. You got that wrong, Jin. Got what wrong, Meow? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, I should have hit deny up here. Oh, I just realized how this works. It's affirm deny for Katara and affirm deny for Jin. Oh, oops. Good point. Oh, I messed that one up. Uh, deny. No, I'll lend a hand. I will let you do as you please, Kitaro. Uh, that's just being overbearing, Sarah. Err, no good. Um. Uh. Ah! Kitaro is right. Jin, please say something. It doesn't matter what. But, but, I mean. Okay, something went on. You won't get special treatment, kid. I didn't see anything, Meow. You did see something. Oh, really? So was everything Reiko said a lie? Uh, no, no, Meow, but, but I didn't. Okay. Jin, you gotta just be lying, right? Big Sis Reiko's got it wrong, Wolf. Um. Uh, I could deny either one of these. She didn't get anything wrong. Jin, why are you being so stubborn about this? I... I... I just... Don't want to believe that thing, Wolf. Okay, we made it. Whew. I didn't want to show that thing and make everyone worry. Meow. Make us worry? Uh, are you defending someone? Jin, are you trying to protect someone? Meow. How, how, how did you know, Wolf? I thought so. Look at, even the cat's face here changed. That's so great. I believe you, Jin. Whatever strange thing you present, I'll handle it. All the dots. All the dots. Okay, meow. Seeing Big Sis Reiko getting yelled at by the muscle gorilla really ticked me off. Meow. Just so you know, I take gorilla as a compliment. Woof, I believe you too. Big Sarah. Yeah. So, I, I was trying to put together the paper scraps on the shoulder thing on the second floor. Meow. Oh, I remember that. But then, woof, taking a look in there. I know some hand toward paper, too. Meow. And in there, woof, it said that Big Sis Sarah was a murderer. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Jin was trying to protect me. Is what happened. Oh. Well. That stinks. All the dots. Huh? Uh, what? What are you on about? Kitaro, please don't shout. 
But what's the meaning of this? I need to get more details. Alright. But I believe in Big Sis Sarah. Woof! Uh, what should I ask first? Uh, was it him and was it letter someone? Do you have the letter? Um, probably this one's best to ask. Let me ask the other ones first. This letter, whatever it was, was it addressed to someone else? Uh, so, let me think. Meow. Yeah. It felt sort of like a list, so it didn't seem like a message, meow. Huh? I wonder, should I have, have him add that info to the statement? Not yet. This letter, whatever it was, was it handwritten? Er, uh, I think so. Meow. Hmm, I wonder. No. Do you have the letter? If you have the actual letter on you, could you show it to me? Oh yeah, I have it, meow. Look at it, meow. Percentages. Ah. But well, wait a second. It says Kutaro is a high school teacher. But Kutaro isn't a teacher, is he? I thought that was Mishima. Hold on a second. Um. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Hold on a second, you guys. I am going to go back to my ye old notebook here. And it says here, Alice Yabisame, Ramaru, Megumi, and Mizuchi. And it's got 6.6, 5.3, 4.9. This one seems to have a higher percentage rate. So let's write this down. We have 15% Sarah Kidon. And it says murderer on the other side. We have 9.9% now, or now Michi, Kura, Kura Mata. And it says high school student. We have 9.5% Kaiji Shin Oji. And that says detective. And it says 8.8% Kyutaro Burgerberg, right? High school teacher. Is he a high school teacher? Did I miss that? Wait, it just said, what is this? What does seem familiar? Oh, what do I do? Should I have it added to the info screen? Yeah. So that's the point. Wolf, got it, meow. I'll say it loud and clear, meow. Or wolf. Uh, can we show him the other item? This is it. Ah, uh, what is it, Meow? Take a look at this. It's a piece of paper I picked up. Me meow, this looks... Oh, if you take... Hold on. Oh, uh, wait. So, if you take the right side of that previous torn document and you put it against this left side, it would say Alice Yabusame murderer, Ramaru high school student, Megumi detective, Kazumi Mishima high school teacher. It's more likely that this is correct because um, Kazumi was. The high school teacher, right? Yeah, I th I think I think that the the documents were linked up in the wrong order, just like the one you have, right? This is Jin's. Similar, Wolf. Totally the same, Wolf. If you notice, the fact that Kyoto is listed as a high school teacher is weird too. Ha ha! Look at this. If you move the last half, the left half. And connect it to the piece I have. Yes, haha. -ha. Meow. They connected. Woof. So who is Alice Yabusame? The tear matches up perfectly. Why is that? They were torn in a stack. A member pad. Torn in a stack, possibly. That's it. Multiple sheets were torn all at once. If you took these sheets and stacked them like this. And then tore it. 
it would produce these results. In other words, there were at least two of these sheets stacked together. Ah, is that it, Wolf? Since they fit together so cleanly, of course misunderstandings would happen. Yay! Thank goodness, meow! Uh, but you know, why, what are these sheets in the first place? They are creepy, aren't they? That professor's name is on there, and even some people I don't know. And whatever could the percentages on the side be? Oh, the dots. Anyway, I, I proved that was useful for exploring. Meow. And now I'm glad that Big Sister Sarah wasn't a murderer after. Eh? Then who is a murderer? Meow. As far as this shows, that would be... Yeah, Alice, obviously. It would be whoever Alice Yabusame is. Uh, Yabusame? That sounds kind of familiar. Meow. There's only one person here with the last name Yabusame. Why don't I know this? Why don't I know this? Please, I, I don't know which. Oh. I don't know who has the last name of Yabusame. I've been asking about this for a while and I'm not sure. Oh. All right. Um, Kaiji, we know his last name. We don't know her last name. We know his last name. Uh, we know his last name. Don't think we know her name. We know her name. Not sure about him. Uh, this is a Jinobushi, right? And we know he's a uh, Gombi Yamada. Who has last name? Is it Joe? Oh yeah, we're putting a save here because I honestly do not know. I really wish I knew. I need to write all these people's names down, apparently, because... Uh... This doesn't help at all. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. Uh, Alright, we'll just go down the list. No, Joe is Joe Tizuna. Okay, I'm writing these down. Joe Tizuna. Got it. What am I doing getting my best friend's name wrong? All right, he's Kaiji Shinogi, right? Yes, he's Kaiji Shinogi. Even though I had that already written down, I'm going to write it down again because obviously I am the worst at this. I want to say it was a woman, right? Okay, so we know it's a woman. Uh, so you're a Burgerberg. You are Iori. It's easy to remember, sunny weather. Kind of reflects his name, I guess. Okay, so this is so Iori. Okay, I'm not really worried about Clay as a woman at the moment. Uh, it was a woman, and when Joe heard her name, he got really energetic for some reason. Okay, what is your name? Kai Sato. Kai Sato. All right. Uh, you're Jinobushi. I'm pretty sure about that. Yes, Jinobushi. Because that was one of my uh, titles on a video. Very stoic name. Uh, you're Gombi Yamada. Yeah, Gombi Yamada. Got that. Gombi Yamada. It's an old-fashioned name, so I remember it. It was a woman. Okay. I want to know what happens, though, if you lose all your clout. So let's go ahead and do that. It should be really, really easy to lose all your clout here. This is for testing purposes. I need to know what happens if you get to zero. I assume it's game over. Or I assume everyone votes for you, like uh, Dengarapa. Only one way to find out. It's so good, I can't think anymore. Even I can tell I'm confused. And yet the discussion continues. I can hardly remember anything that came next. Not even who was chosen and who died. Huh. So, it just... Okay, it's just a blank game over screen. Alright, fair enough. Okay, who is it? It's... Kana? Kana Kizuchi. Kana... Kizuchi. Uh, use a lot of kanji, so it kind of sticks out in my mind. It's Reiko. 
Vico, as I recall, you're Vico Yabasame, aren't you? Vico Yabusame. And we have Nao's name, right? She's a Nao, um, Naomichi Kurama, Kuramada. So that's everyone. Okay, good. Cool. Eric. Yeah, I'm Reiko Yabasame. And so what? It's just coincidence, right? I do know anybody with that name. Sounds like a sister, perhaps. Uh-huh. Sarah, what do you think? Reiko is an alias. I think it's a sister. Like Rico says, I think there's a separate person called Alice. Why is that? Uh, the blackboard in the bar. Sure, because of that. That blackboard had a list of people who couldn't couldn't drink. And it said both Rico and Alice. Ah, oh, that's why I could have looked. Ah. Oh. Um, come to think of it, when I was searching, I found some chalk on the floor. So, it's not impossible, it was changed. You got it wrong. It's not me. Besides, handwritten pieces of paper? Anybody can make those, right? If they had a pen, sure. Oof. Uh, big, big sis, Rico, can't be a murderer. Wolf. Then, should we call it a relative's name? I, I remember. My, my brother. It's my brother's name. Alice? Brother? Alice is your brother. Not your sister. Even your excuses are becoming illogical. Yeah, he's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. That's not to say that you can't be called Alice and be a boy. I'm just saying it's more likely that she slipped. It ain't an excuse. Alright, go. Tell the truth. Believe me, I'm... I'm in. I... Reiko. Sarah, help me. Um... Uh... I think the paper's bogus. But I also think she's hiding something. So... I mean, what do I do? What do I do when I feel both things are possibilities? Well, we need someone, we need five people. And we can't let So be one of those people. So if she's one of them, say nothing. All the dots. Sarah. Dang it. Ah, I. All the dots. Wait! I don't know who this is. Oh. Okay? It's me. I'm Alice. Okay? What? All the dots? All the dots? Huh? I'm Alice. I'm telling you. Reiko did nothing wrong. It's a misunderstanding. Listen, we're in the middle of a serious discussion right now. And I'm being serious too. Reiko, Reiko is my little sister. Uh, y you for real? Couldn't hide it, huh? This guy's real name is Alice Yabasame. He's my other brother. Okay, I just said that. Okay, uh, I I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Um... Uh, either she's lying about this, or she's right. And, I mean, like I said, there's nothing wrong with a guy being named Alice. I'm sure there are people around the world who are named Alice, who's a guy. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that it seemed more likely that she was flustered and not being truthful. Uh... Is she still being truthful here? I think she is being truthful here. I think that really is Alice. Uh, then, the murderer. It's me. Wait, what is... Name just changed. You see that? I lied about being a thief. I went to prison for killing someone. Uh, isn't this guy some serious bad news? 
Yes, that's right. Indeed, I am a criminal. And Reiko cut me off as well, saying to never show her saying to never show her my mug again. And yet, it's not even funny to think we'd reunite in a in this place. Me and him are total strangers at this point. I didn't want Khan and the rest being scared of me because of this guy. So when he woke up, I told him to hide our relation. Right after he went to look for now. So that's it. Oh, the dots. Huh. I'm a simple murderer. But Reiko is different. She's a good and proper person. That's all I want to say. Dang it all. So you deny any connection with the kidnappers? Right. Why was I brought here? I still don't know. All the dots. Wahahaha. Suppose I can't expect trust or anything else, can I? It's just the ramblings of a killer. Mwahahaha. Uh, despite us talking about Jin, we got some unexpected information there. There are still many more points of interest, but there's no time. I want to hear Nao's justification soon enough. What do you think? Eh, Mimi? That's fine, right, Miss Sarah? Uh, stop changing the topics. We don't have time to resolve every question. Other than Rico and Alice, what has me more curious is... Where I found the paper. I wonder why I found my scrap of paper in the red room. I honestly don't remember. Was that in the room to start with? Or did I bring it there while in a panic? I doubt Alice would lie at this point. No help in it. We should move to the next topic. Well then, Miss Now, please give us your justification. All the dots! Progress. I see there's a lot of illogical about Now's actions. Uh, illogical, eh? Aren't you curious what she was up to in the kitchen? Holding the box with Mashima? Tell me, what were you doing then, Miss Ma- now? Ah, uh, because of the body collection announcement, I went to panic! I took the box and just sat and hid in the kitchen. I didn't even touch anything in the room. I know I told you all a lot, but I didn't want to lose him. How'd you get in there? After everyone else, I inspected the kitchen and found no signs of Tickery. Perhaps she truly was just hiding. No, but how did you get in there? Sitting in the dark, I asked some questions again and again. Even though I want to get an answer. Miss Sarah, you searched before me, so you should be aware of this as well. I wonder if she really was just hiding. All the dots. So it seems to want to imply something. What do we have? We don't really have any other item. So we gotta use a verse here. Store that and store this. I don't believe I'm saying anything strange. Shoot, that was a mistake. Okay. How about here? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have much to say. That don't work either. What else are we supposed to do? Do these two? Um... Uh... I can't extract any information. And... I I don't get it. There's nothing else I can do. Cuz I can't extract the information. And I can't do a verse. 
Because I tried it with these two, I tried it with them, I tried it with them. There's no other... There's no other verse statement I could do here. Hmm. I don't get it. I wonder if she was really hiding something. Do you have to do the verse in the opposite direction? I don't know. Uh, I feel lost here because when I hit extract, nothing happens. I can't talk to anyone else. I can't use um, items. All right. Well, there we go. Um, apparently, that's the item we had to use. We had to use the knife box again. Wow. Um, maybe I should load. Now nah, we'll just go with it. Did you really not touch anything? Huh? The kitchen had been locked until then. And after you left now, we obtained this long, narrow box. There was nothing inside. Only now could I have taken the knife out of it. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, hold on. When and how did now find the key to the kitchen anyway? I was wondering that too. All the dots. It was open. Huh? The kitchen door was unlocked at the time. So I went in and locked it from the inside. Uh, then somebody else went in first, Meow. That's who took the knife, Wolf. First, I carried Alice over to the pink room. At that time, someone dug through the kitchen, took the knife, and left. Finally, now went into the kitchen with the box and locked herself in. Does the timing work out? Hmm. Maybe that's logical. It's super sketchy, though. It's not sketchy in the least. I'll tell you anything. Well then, Miss Now, tell us what you were doing in the kitchen. Progress. All right. The whole time, I just sat and held the profess the box. I didn't move an inch. Well, guess you'll just have to break the ice, Sarah. Yeah, I need to ask her about that. Weird. Can't. If she never let it go, then wonder why the box was empty. We'll just have to ask her. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Just ask them questions, even though I won't get an answer, so... There we go. So you're lying, huh, now? Our cloud's gone back up. What? There was nothing in the box. Nothing at all. What? That, that can't be right. It's true. It's true now. What's that? I don't know anything. The professor was with me the whole time. Where did he go? Uh, is this an act? No. Now ain't that kind of gal. There's got to be a reason it vanished. The mystery of the vanishing head. If now is just acting, then... Can't really put together why she'd need to lie to us here. What's going on? I don't understand. Progress. I certainly lost sight of myself, but I've done nothing suspicious, and I don't know why. Why it disappeared? Uh, no, respected Professor Mishiba. Made a shock was so great that she unconsciously did something strange. It must have got swapped at some point with another box of kidnappers prepared. Ooh, that's a really good point. Uh, the contents of the box warped, meow. Well, I can tell dimensional teleporter thing. Whoa. Miss Now be manipulated by the kidnappers. Is that a possibility? Is there no good lead? I really like what she said. 
I mean, this place is full of stuff like that. The kitchen was pitch black. It got swapped in the dark when she wouldn't notice. Alright, so it got swapped. Uh, maybe she was on the kidnapper's side to start. Or maybe brainwashed or something. Downing doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, now respect to Professor Mishima. Maybe Shaq was so great that you unconsciously did something strange? It's not like we always act in the most logical way, right? This was after that awful vote. If I felt what now felt, I'd... We felt like now? What'd you do? Joe, if you had been... If I had been you who lost someone precious that vote, what would you do? Uh, if it were me, rather than grieve, I might just, uh, snap. Snap? Like, who the heck voted for Sarah? I look for the culprit on the spot. Of course, I know full well it was my lead to blame, but I might take out my anger on somebody else. That's what I mean. You don't always follow logic. Yeah, maybe so. If someone else killed them, anger would be a natural response. Ah, uh, this place must be a hyper-advanced mansion. Meow. Jin. Fix this now. Ain't a bad person, meow. Do something. Woof. Ah. Uh, to me, Professor Mishima was a very important picker. Lucy Professor Shima in the boat. Not so much angry, it was sad. It was so depressing and painful. I don't want to believe it was reality. You were sad? Yes, you'd understand, right, Sarah? Wasn't she curious about who voted for Professor Mishima? Hmm. So what do we got? We got this statement about it being swapped. And this statement for being controlled. Nope. Okay. Wait. Clear this. Apply this. And use it here. There we go. Because he said I would be mad and she just said that she was sad and she wasn't mad even though she wanted to know who the killers were. Uh, now, I'm a little curious. Huh? Maybe I just got a rough disposition, but why didn't you think about looking for the culprit? I mean, it wasn't an accident that happened to someone you respected because he was voted for. Ain't it, uh, more natural to get angry? Uh, I, I don't think so at all. Since I knew no one's votes had any ill will. Oh, the dots. Maybe you didn't respect him. Who well, what are you? Maybe Miss Now and Professor Mishima didn't have any bond at all. Then I could understand her mindset for not seeking out the culprit. How awful! You're awful, just awful. I truly did. Sarah, what do you think? I think... Well, he did have three votes. But she did say who voted for him. So why would she say that? Unless the bomb was real. Unless she was deflecting it to make it look like the bomb's a lie. No, I mean, she was pretty broken up. I'm going to say the bomb's real. I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe in people. Those two seem to have a great relationship. I can't point to some logical proof. There was just something about it. Now being that distraught couldn't be an act. And yes, there must be some reason for the professor's disappearing head. Uh, the collar. Huh? Suppose Miss Now did stick Professor Mishima in the box out of affection for him. Rather, maybe her objective was to retrieve the collar on his neck. Huh. Why would you do that, though? In other words, information that Miley failed to retrieve. You trying to say that Nell collected the collar in place of the kidnappers? I don't know. However, I should note your friendly neighborhood policeman wasn't able to investigate the collar because now was there. Uh, hey, y'all being serious? Well, what? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know anything. Please just stop it. Then, uh, tell us. 
why did you care who the vulture was after the vote? Because uh, Professor Machine was killed by the people who voted for him. You stop right there, Joe! Uh, the dots. Stop it. Don't say another word. I'm begging you. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. Uh, what? I overheard all of it. It was just before the vote. Okay. Mishima said something. Quite enough that only somebody real close could hear. Oh, Miss Now, Miss Now. All the dots. Let us vote for each other, Miss Now. Uh, he said that? Thinking the vote was just a test. I'm sure now voted for Mishima like he asked. But Mishima voted for himself. Oh. Wow. Mishima's a honest to goodness hero. How about that? To protect his student just in case. That's why now it didn't look for the culprit. Don't bring up any ill will garbage, cause it doesn't matter. His death was an accident. Uh, now. I, uh, if I, if I hadn't voted for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. All this time I've been thinking, whoever voted for another person must have had bad intentions. Just cause I voted for myself. So did I. Wait, did we all actually vote for ourselves except for now and someone else? Because he had three votes, don't forget. Who, who else had... Wasn't it So who had zero votes? I don't remember. I don't remember. Urgh! What? Wait, Joe, you voted for yourself? Uh, yeah. So, didn't you tell me you voted for Joe? No way. I didn't say anything like that. All the dots. Uh, what's this about? So, ha ha ha! Don't worry about it, everybody. Miss Sarah asked me who I voted for, so I just told her whatever. She's so diligent; she must have taken it seriously. This, this, this guy—he's a huge liar. So, ultimately, are we going to ignore the missing head? Uh, that's still a big mystery. But seems like now did nothing wrong, at least. Ah, uh, hmm. Maybe Reiko had the right idea. Maybe Reiko had the right idea, and it got swapped out at some point. Ah, uh, just discussing this pointless wolf. Let's talk about that gorilla guy next. <laughs> Meow. For real? You okay knowing it, Sarah? The disappearing head. I'm so curious. Oh, the dots. Seems only Miss Sarah has any sense. All oh, the dots. Hey, guys. You're never going to s solve anything like this. Uh, but, but I think it's wonderful that you can trust each other this much after just meeting, you know? But, well, bad people always feign ignorant innocence. <laughs> you trying to say that now is a bad person? I just remembered something. That Miss Now is the one who attacked me. Whoa! All the dots! All the oh my god dots! That was a close one. If I hadn't remembered that, she could have gotten away clean. Is this true? Or a lie? You know what? Shut up. Don't get in the way. Oh, I'm sorry, that's him. Don't get in the way, Sarah. Urk. All the dots. I'll hear out anything, Miss Now. Now is the only chance to tell the truth. If we're going to argue until one of us loses trust, I'll have to do my best too. Tell me, do you have that courage? I. All the dots. All the dots. I did. It's so. <laughs> Uh, for, for, for real? You're joking, right? Why now? All the dots. I was threatened. Uh, by who? All the dots. Kai, 
Oh, the dots. Progress. Kai threatened me. Distract so in the head. Oh, the dots. Hmm. Down and down the rabbit hole we go, my friends. Uh, we are going to take a break here. Uh, I do have stuff I need to get done today, so I have a limited amount of time tonight. Uh, but I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. And come join us in part three of the chapter one main game trial in the next episode. Uh, things are just getting crazier and crazier. And you know what? We still got to vote for five people. And then one person out of those five. And we haven't even gotten there yet. I mean, this, this this whole trial is just upending, like, everything. And it's been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you do, you know what to do. I will say that the first video of Your Turn to Die is actually probably the most successful video on this channel. Um, last I checked, I had something like 11 likes um, and over 100 views, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, there is that other video in AI The Summoning Files that kind of got like-bombed, and I have no idea what happened with that. Um, but besides that video, yes, uh, Your Turn to Die has been something that you all seem to, to enjoy. Uh, so definitely make sure to not just make that first video popular. Try to make them all popular, you know? Uh, let's get the name of this game out because this is a great game. And Nankadai, thank you, Nankadai, um, for making this awesome game because I'm really enjoying it. And apparently a lot of people do too. So thank you so much. I love you guys greatly. Until next time, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.